Welcome to Wild Breakaway with my green lay. I'm Audra Martin. For the first time this season, 60 minutes was not enough time <laughs> to decide a game for the Minnesota Wild. Unfortunately, they saw their three game home winning streak come to an end tonight as they were taking on the visiting St. Louis Blues. The defending Stanley Cup champions get the 4 3 win in overtime. Yeah, I know they're a deep team, so the Minnesota Wild knew that they would have uh, their, their work cut out for them. They played them on Wednesday, and it was a, it was a good game. Uh, the Wild played a, a solid game. They outshot the Blues uh, in St. Louis, but they weren't able to come away with two points in that game. Uh, this one, they knew they'd have a battle all the way through. They, they, uh, they played a strong game. I think a couple of breaks went against them. Uh, but when you get to overtime, we all know that it's all about possession. And the Wild just did not have the puck enough in overtime. And they had a few guys get caught out there at the end of a shift when they were tired. And Ryan O'Reilly made them pay uh, with a heck of a shot in overtime. Yeah, unfortunately, the Minnesota Wild got off to a good start. Marcus Foligno with his second goal of this season. They had a good second period as well as as uh, Kevin Fiala had his first of the season. Another goal by Matt Zuccarella for his second in as many nights. But again, a 4-3 loss. A good night on special teams. 3-for-3 three three on the PK and 1-for-2 on the power play here tonight for Minnesota. But again, a tough loss just in time for the Wild to head out on the road for a four-game trip. I'm glad we're not playing tomorrow. So we've got a day to, to build back up and well, two days to, to go after it. So, I mean, it's uh, um, but this team plays with a lot of heart. I mean, uh, they wanted to win pretty badly, I thought. And, and it was discouraging in Dallas. And it was discouraging playing so well in St. Louis. And it was discouraging here. I mean, um, the, the positive things is you got a point. But I mean, uh, uh, I still think at the early stage here, we would need to. So the Wild will spend the next 10 days on the road. It's a four-game trip against the Pacific Division, and it all starts on Tuesday night against the Anaheim Ducks. They'll also face the Sharks, Coyotes, and the Kings to wrap things up before they return back home to downtown St. Paul. But up first, the Anaheim Ducks. They've been playing some pretty good hockey. They were for a while. They're really one of the best defensive teams in the NHL. Uh, a good challenge for the Minnesota Wild, but really the f focus has to be on finding a way to get just their second road win of the season. Yeah, at this point, it, it doesn't matter who you're you're playing because it's about your game and and the wild have to find a way to start well and like they did here in this game have a very good second period the middle frame hasn't been kind to them uh, that often and with as many road games as they played they definitely have a, a body of, of evidence now to figure out when they play the best, how they play the best. And so they can look back now on even this season and say, here are some of the things we need to be better at. We need to be able to uh, find the net a little bit more often. We need to be careful about the first and, and last minute of every period because they've been victimized a little bit with that. They need to hold their consistency and not fall into a defensive shell when things start to work against them. There's a lot of little things that you need to figure out, and there's a lot of little things that happen to you when you're on the road. And momentum shifts are very, very quick. Uh, when you're when you're battling uh, uphill, it seems like so. See if the Wild can pull things together here. When you're on the road, the one thing you do is you become a, a tighter knit team. You, you get to hang out a little bit more with your teammates, and you get to figure out uh, what's going on a little bit more with with your line mates. So hopefully, the Wild will use the time that they have a pretty good. Uh, stretch of road games here, four in a row, uh, even though they're through some very, very nice, warm uh, climates. Uh, the, the fact is, is that uh, things, your hand if you're <laughs> <jealous>. <laughs> things don't always feel that great when you're not when you're not winning. So if they can peel off a win or two early in this road trip, you know, the smiles start to come out. They play a little bit looser and, and things start to work out a little bit more for you. But uh, they're going to have to find a way to keep putting the puck in the net. Five of the last seven games, the Wild have scored three or more goals. That's a good sign. Hopefully they can keep that up. Yep, there were some positives here tonight for the Minnesota Wild. We've said that all season long now that you just need to find another way to keep it going on the road, and it all starts Tuesday night against the Anaheim Ducks. We, of course, look forward to seeing you then. For Mike Greenlay and Madra Martin, thanks for joining us tonight on Wild Breakaway.